Welcome back. This is game three of our new series, AlphaGo versus the World. It'll be in volume two of our AlphaGo to Zero book. Uh, Michael, who's the uh, who's the player this time? Who's, okay, who's this the victim, time, I should say? <laughs> the human player. Uh, Ding Xichang, as far as I can pronounce his name. Um, he That's was good. another young player, um, born in 1998. So I guess he was something like 17 years old at the time of this game. Oh, they're getting older. Getting a bit older. And he is a, a more prominent player. In 19, uh, 2013, he was selected uh, in the Chinese national youth team. And so he was very promising. And now he's a five don. At the time, he liked to play the mini Chinese low simaris, like the knight simari. And it's, it was a very popular style before AG. In this game, you're going to see a contrast of AlphaGo, I mean, uh, and the way that the humans used to play it before AlphaGo. This is a style that's going to sort of almost disappear after AlphaGo and the AIs. Very cool. All right. So with that, we will jump into our uh, mini commentary. Let's uh, yes. go on over to the game. Over to you, Michael. Okay. I'm starting in the game now. Uh, the human player um, is white. And AlphaGo plays a big Simari like this. This is pretty standard. Um, and white plays the Wariuchi, the splitting the side. Now, this is a move we don't see so much anymore. Um, for instance, you would see moves like this, um, just the Simari. This would be perfectly nat natural. And this is the move you see AlphaGo playing. I think you see AlphaGo playing it in this series. Uh, otherwise, you can see computers dive into the three three point and modern professional games also. Or white could play a big Shimari. Um against the Shimari in, in the upper left, you often see white try this move. But this is this gets really complicated too. And obviously this the idea of playing this move immediately in the opening like this was virtually non existent at the time. Uh, so you can't really expect the player to come up with that in this game. So white plays a, but it's really strange. You, you can see already that the game is going to gradually be going in, in white's favor after this. It's still okay for, I mean, black's favor, sorry. It's going to be going into black's favor. The moment white plays this move, which looks perfectly normal before AlphaGo, and then there's this point where now you're going to see players um, play maybe this way. This is an accepted way to play nowadays, or white can play some move like this or this. Uh, these are popular moves now. They all get good, all three of these moves get good scores with computer program. Um, it sort of varies with which program you use. But pincering is generally bad because black gets to press here. And this is something that we just didn't understand before we had AIs. But mm -hmm. at this point, black already has something like a 50 or 57% winning percentage. And that's, that translates to almost nine points difference before Comey. So that's uh, a good two and a half points uh, margin already for black. And like from the human viewpoint, black, white's not done anything wrong yet. Just playing a normal opening. Um, but we've stopped playing this because of AIs, basically. This is also a point where um, actually when black plays the Kakari here, um, even at that time, it would have it was generally considered to be more prudent to play the pincer here. And something like this could happen. This was actually an opening, uh, kind of Joseki in the lower right that Gosegin really liked. He played uh -huh. it with, with black a lot. But this would be a better way for white to um, settle the lower, lower side and have a relatively close game. But when white plays here, this is the way people liked to play at the time because they were pretty um, confident that they could handle weak groups. And so there, white is grabbing territory. Um, this is an interesting point in the game where in very similar openings, uh, we actually saw AlphaGo in this version playing the shoulder hit here and getting a big attack on the lower side with, for instance, something like this. And we're going to see this in some of the later games, actually. Uh -huh, it's going to be a uh -huh. very similar opening. But um, it's just a question of whether this Karkari and, and, the, and Black answering on the right, whether that um, exchange is in there or not. And I don't, uh, to be honest, I don't really know why, why there's a difference there. In this position, I think it's perfectly valid for black to try to play that this looks like it's such a more, more active and exciting move i would rather play this move but in this position where white has not played that kakari in the upper left upper right alphago seems to think in this version at least that this move is better interesting it's interesting and it's hard to hard to fathom really yeah it really is 
At this point, this is another turning point in the game where white played very tightly here, cutting black off. So um, locally, this is a sequence that works because white can cut here. And if black plays on this side, white can wedge here to cut black off. Mm -hmm. So locally, it's a tactic that's working. And white does get to cut black off. But on the overall position, this is a mistake because black is already alive on the lower side here. And it gave black the initiative to play away. So the wow. fact that this black group is completely alive now and black can play on this side now. Black is taking the initiative. Black already has a lead, um, more than 60% winning percentage. And that's something like 10 points before Komi. Wow. And that's something that we just didn't understand at the time. Um, but white should have actually played um, pushing here. And just the idea is that white's going to allow black to connect underneath if he really wants to and take a position on the outside. And if black answers here, white can play here. And this is going to make a loose connection of white stones here. And white is threatening a more severe attack when the time comes. And you have to notice that black does have a number of, there's a number of cutting points here. That's right, I was white, just looking at that. White gains more by threatening to play them and sort of encouraging black to defend. Like the defending moves are a bit painful because white gets profit in the corner in this case. And then again, uh, playing something like this would be another painful move. Mm -hmm. So the idea here is to encourage black to play that kind of move, not really going for an all-out attack, um, playing more to settle the white group while black is having some trouble dealing with the, the problems, the issues. Nice. So when white plays here, this is working um, tactically, but the game is already very difficult for white. Let's just go in a little bit further. Like this is a huge point here, putting pressure on white in the lower lower right corner. And white did uh, cut black off there, but you can see the, the black group on the lower side, it's already alive here, it has two eyes, which makes it relatively unimportant that black is being cut off. And now black goes on the counter attack. So black is moving these two stones out on the left and black is going to attack this white group on the lower side. Yeah. So this is a point where white really had to roll with the blow a bit and just extend here, simply. Um, something like this might happen. And white still has room enough to move out in this case. This is where white, white really got into trouble because white tried to play more forcefully with the honey here. And at this point, already white is in a lot of trouble. Oh dear. White's group oh dear. is bounded. And the computer analysis gives Black something like 65 winning percent winning percentage and about 13 points before Komi. Yeah. And, um, White can White actually did manage to live here, but White's going to get into a lot of trouble. Um, it might have been better for White to die in some cases, actually. That, like, <laughs> you see that when you um, analyze with computer programs. And all Black has to do is allow White to live. Um, and take an overall advantage. So after this, we're going to see the, go the game going very one-sided. And as far as AlphaGo, it's all over at this point. So this wow. is what here. It's, it's interesting, Michael, just before we wrap, and I think this is a function, uh, and this is why it's kind of fun for us to do this particular series after, because uh, we're, we're kind of time shifting here. Of course, we've been working for, well, for the last, I think almost two months on all of these, uh, uh, finishing up the AlphaGo versus AlphaGo series. Exactly. So fairly complicated, in-depth, you know, things. And so looking at these, of course, uh, you know, where you have a human player, and and it even even I can see, uh, it just feels like, like you say it's just like yeah, White well, can probably live there. Uh, and I can't wait to see your commentary, you know, that shows that. But it's just, it's, it, he's not going to do anything other than live, right? I mean, mm -hmm. there's, there's nothing else that's going to happen with that group. Yes. Well, like with AlphaGo playing against itself, uh, neither side really makes any mistakes that I can find. And so it's a very close game throughout. And very hard to give you the short story about that because, <laughs> um, like, the short story is I don't know, maybe. Right. Um, no, no. But these Usually games, you can actually see that one side is one side is getting better at some point, and right. so there's a point where I can simplify things and say it's uh, AlphaGo is going to win, actually. Well, usually what you say is you say, oh, it looks like the game is over. Every time you say that when it's AlphaGo, I know, no, the game is. <laughs> <laughs> that means all hell is about to break loose in the AlphaGo versus AlphaGo. Yeah. Anyway, 
Very exciting. Can't wait to see the, the commentary on this. Uh, thanks again, everybody, for watching. We'll see you for our next game. Stay tuned.